Chaos never died. Primordial, uncarved block, soul worshipful monster, inert and spontaneous, more ultraviolet than any mythology, like the shadows before Babylon. The original undifferentiated oneness of being still radiates serene as the black penance of assassins, random and perpetually intoxicated. Chaos comes before all principles of order and entropy. It's neither a god nor a maggot. Its idiotic desires encompass and define every possible choreography. All meaningless ethers and phlogistons, its masks are crystallizations of its own facelessness, like clouds. Everything in nature is perfectly real, including consciousness. There's absolutely nothing to worry about. Not only have the chains of the law been broken, they never existed. Demons never guarded the stars. The empire never got started. Eros never grew a beard. No, listen, what happened was this. They lied to you, sold you ideas of good and evil, gave you distrust of your body and shame for your prophethood of chaos, invented words of disgust for your molecular love, mesmerized you with inattention, bored you with civilization and all its usurious emotions. There is no becoming, no revolution, no struggle, no path. Already, you're the monarch of your own skin. Your inviolable freedom waits to be completed only by the love of other monarchs. A politics of dream, urgent as the blueness of sky. To shed all the illusory rights and hesitations of history demands the economy of some legendary stone age. Shamans, not priests. Bards, not lords. Hunters, not police. Gatherers of Paleolithic laziness, gentle as blood, going naked for a sign or painted as birds, poised on the wave of explicit presence, the clockless now ever. Agents of chaos cast burning glances at anything or anyone capable of bearing witness to their condition, their fever of looks et voluptas. I am awake only in what I love and desire to the point of terror. Everything else is just shrouded furniture, quotidian anesthesia, shit for brains, sub-reptilian ennui of totalitarian regimes, banal censorship, and useless pain. Avatars of chaos act as spies, saboteurs, criminals of amor fou, neither selfless nor selfish, accessible as children, mannered as barbarians, chafed with obsessions, unemployed, sensually deranged, wolf angels, mirrors for contemplation, eyes like flowers, Pirates of all signs and meanings. Here we are, crawling the cracks between walls of church, state, school, and factory, all the paranoid monoliths. Cut off from the tribe by feral nostalgia, we tunnel after lost words, imaginary bombs. last possible deed is that which defines perception itself, an invisible golden cord that connects us, illegal dancing in the courthouse corridors. If I were to kiss you here, they'd call it an act of terrorism. So let's take our pistols to bed 
and wake up the city at midnight like drunken bandits celebrating with a fusillade the message of the taste of chaos. <laughs> 